and welcome to another exciting episode of Roche Wines Education Series. Hello, bonjour everyone. Uh, today is the third episode of uh, uh, the series. Um, then we are in the cellar today and we are not outside. It's a very beautiful day, uh, but we thought we will show you a little bit what's happening in the cellar. Then today we'll talk about racking and uh, then follow me, we'll see what Dylan is up to. Oh look, it's Dylan. Then that's Dylan, <laughs> no. Roche, my husband, and a winemaker and owner and viticulturist as well. Um, then Dylan is uh, What we're doing is uh, separating the clear wine and the bulk of the barrel from the uh, yeast leaves that have deposited on the bottom surface of the barrel. Uh, we are pumping the wine from the barrel using a, a racking wand and an adjustable setting at the bottom that allows us to stay above the leaves and that goes in wine comes out and then the, the leaves get settled separately afterwards and here you can see the oh yeah you can totally see the, the separation stratification of the clear wine on top as the as the leaves settle out and down below it's um, this is the leaves here and it's the transition and yeah to the wine here like here you can really really see because this is after a little bit more time than this one and this is a complete process of the deposit yeah. and clear wine and leaves and we can see over there the leaves are very uh, and that's what was at the bottom of the barrel then if I do that I mean, like see, silky but uh, thick at the same time and uh, this is made uh, out of uh, dead yeast and tartrate uh, crystals like you can see the crystals cool. on my on my finger yeah All right and that was, this is what was left in the barrel that we couldn't get it uh, with the chain. Sure, yeah. And the time that the wine spends uh, in contact with the yeast after the fermentation uh, is a, a time when we can build uh, volume and texture in the wine via this contact with the yeast, which is slowly breaking down uh, and releasing um, both aromatic, aromatic and textural Perfect. And that was the Pinot Gris that we were just going through? Pinot Gris 2018. Excellent. And what's your thoughts on that so far? It's, uh, it's very good. Every barrel brings a complexity to the final. Then what we do now is everything will, is going in a tank over there. Then all these different barrels are uh, blended in just one tank. And it was six different ones who will become just one, uh, just one unit. One more. Yeah. Yep. Actually. And we are prepping for the bottling that is coming uh, beginning of July. Excellent. Is there anything else that you wanted to uh, let us know about today? Uh, you can have a peek at the cellar and we will talk uh, later about uh, uh, other things. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Merci. Au revoir.